this lecture we are going to learn how to plot bivariate normal distribution so just as a recap let's discuss the univariate case first let x be a random variable which follows normal distribution with mean mu 1 and variance sigma 1 square that is x is distributed as big n for normal and within parenthesis it's two parameters mu 1 is the first parameter which is mean and sigma 1 square is the second parameter which is the variance so then the probability density function of random variable big X is defined as f of x equals to 1 over square root 2 pi sigma 1 e raised to power minus half x minus mu 1 over sigma 1 whole square where x ranges between minus infinity and plus infinity mu 1 the mean of this random variable x it also ranges between minus infinity and plus infinity and the variance of random variable big X ranges between 0 and plus infinity pi and e these two are called mathematical constants the procedure of plotting this probability density function is already discussed in an earlier video the link is shown on your screen i am moving to the bivariate case now let's consider the bivariate case now let x and y be two random variables following normal distribution with mean mu1 and mu2 and variance sigma1 square and sigma2 square respectively that is, x is a random variable which follows normal distribution with mean mu1 and variance sigma1 square and y is another random variable which also follows normal distribution with mean mu2 and variance sigma2 square. Two cases arise here. Case 1, if random variables x and y are independent. So then, the joint probability density function f of xy is given by f of xy is product of individual probability density functions of random variable big X and big Y. Simply replacing this f of X by its probability density function formula. So it is 1 over square root 2 pi sigma 1 e raised to power minus half X minus mu 1 over sigma 1 whole square and replacing this probability density function f of Y by its formula. It is 1 over square root 2 pi sigma 2 e raised to power minus half Y minus mu 2 over sigma 2 whole square. Since expressions on right hand side are being multiplied, 1 over square root 2 pi into 1 over square root 2 pi, so it will be 1 over square root 2 pi whole square, the under root sign will get cancelled with square, so we have obtained 1 over 2 pi. And then this sigma 1 and sigma 2 as it is. Now coming to these two expressions, e raised to power minus half x minus mu 1 over sigma 1 whole square, and this e raised to power minus half y minus mu 2 over sigma 2 whole square. In both expressions, the base is e, so the exponents will get added. e raised to power minus half into this expression and here as well, e raised to power minus half into this expression. So we can take this minus half common, which I actually did here, and these two expressions are being added together. So this is the formula of joint probability density function when two random variables big X and big Y are independent. Let's discuss case two if both random variables x and y are not independent. So let rho be the correlation coefficient between both random variables x and y. So then the joint probability density function f of x y is given by this formula f of x y equals 1 over 2 pi sigma 1 sigma 2 into square root of 1 minus rho square into e raised to power minus 1 by 2 1 minus rho square into x minus mu 1 over sigma 1 whole square minus 2 times rho into x minus mu 1 over sigma 1 into y minus mu 2 over sigma 2 plus y minus mu 2 over sigma 2 whole square where both x and y range between minus infinity and plus infinity mu 1 and mu 2 also range between minus infinity and plus infinity sigma 1 square and sigma 2 square range between 0 and plus infinity rho is the correlation coefficient so it ranges between minus 1 and plus 1 where both end limits are included pi and e are mathematical constants now let's discuss a special case when the two random variables are independent so it means this rho will be 0 in that case so replace rho by 0 here in the formula of this joint probability density function so if you replace this rho by 0 so 0 square will be 0 so 1 minus 0 is 1 and square root of 1 is 1 so we are left with 1 over 2 pi sigma 1 sigma 2 and now e raised to power minus 1 by 2 1 minus 0 square 0 square is again 0 so 1 minus 0 is 1 so 2 into 1 is 2 so minus 1 by 2 so now replace rho by 0 here as well so this middle term will become 0 
and we are left with first and last terms here within these square brackets. So you can see that this formula, the simplified version of this formula exactly matches with this formula. The joint probability density function of random variables x and y when both are assumed to be independent. Since case 1 is a special case of this case 2 when rho is assumed to be 0. So for the Excel demonstration, I will use only this version of the formula. So here is Excel spreadsheet and here is the formula of joint probability density function of random variables x and y where small x is the value of random variable big X and small y is the value of random variable big Y. And this joint probability density function is for the case when both random variables x and y are not independent. And here we have assumed that mu1 is 0 and sigma1 is 1 and also mu2 is 0 and sigma2 is 1. So it means both random variables x and y are assumed to be standard normal. And initially rho is fixed at 0. Later we will change these numbers and we will see the impact of the change on the bivariate normal distribution graph. Let's create values of random variables big X and big Y. And assume that random variable big X takes values between minus 3 and plus 3 and random variable big Y also takes values between minus 3 and plus 3 with the step size of 0 0.5. So write here x slash y minus 3 then minus 2.5 select these two cells and drag this command up to plus 3. And now here in this cell write the first value of random variable big Y then minus 3 and in next cell minus 2.5 and now select these two cells and drag them horizontally up to plus 3. That's it. So now we have created values of random variables big X and big Y between minus 3 and plus 3. Now look at this cell. It occurs at the intersection of when random variable big X takes value minus 3 and random variable big Y takes value minus 3 as well. So here in this cell, I am going to calculate the value of joint probability density function when x is equal to minus 3 and y is equal to minus 3 as well. So the value of joint probability density function when x is equal to minus 3 and y is equal to minus 3 can be calculated by replacing x by minus 3 and y by minus 3 here in this formula and using these values for the mu1 sigma1, mu2 sigma2 and rho. Put an equal sign and now we need to use this expression on the right hand side to calculate this value. So 1 over 2 pi, 1 over 2 times pi, for pi we have this pi command pi and then the open and close parenthesis times sigma 1 sigma 2 steric for multiplication sigma 1 located here in b4 use dollar sign to fix it times sigma 2 located here in b6 use dollar signs to fix it times square root of 1 minus rho square sqrt for square root 1 minus rho square 1 minus rho rho is located here in b7 use dollar signs to fix it as well square it and then close this parenthesis and finally close this parenthesis as well so this completes this first expression now multiply this expression with e raised to power minus this whole thing. Put an asterisk sign and then exp and then minus 1 over 2 times 1 minus rho square. Minus 1 over 2 times 1 minus rho square. 1 minus rho, rho is located here use dollar sign to fix it, square it, close this parenthesis and close this parenthesis as well. So this will calculate this whole expression. So now multiply this whole expression with this one. Steric So I have added three parentheses. Now x minus mu1 so x, this first value here, and please note that you need to put dollar before this column heading, minus 
mu1 located here use dollar signs to fix it x minus mu slash sigma1 sigma1 is located here use dollar sign to fix it so now we have calculated x minus mu1 of all over sigma1 and then square it close this parenthesis and square it so this expression actually calculates this whole thing and now we need to calculate this second term and then this third term and finally we need to close this parenthesis so that will multiply this whole expression with this uh, minus 1 by 2 into 1 minus rho square so now put a minus sign minus 2 times rho rho is located here use dollar sign to fix it into x minus mu 1 x is located here so dollar c3 minus mu 1 mu 1 is located here in b3 use dollar signs to fix it close this parenthesis slash sigma 1 sigma 1 is located here in b4 use dollar signs to fix it as well so now we have calculated x minus mu 1 over sigma 1 close this parenthesis and then steric sign for multiplication the two parentheses and now move to this expression y y is located here please note that in case of x we have used the dollar sign before the column heading and now in case of y we are using the dollar sign before the row heading this is done just to facilitate our calculations there is no need to retype this command for the rest of the cells so we can simply copy this command horizontally as well as vertically to calculate the joint probability density function for the rest of the values of x and y so this is y minus mu2 mu2 is located here use the dollar signs to fix it close this parenthesis slash sigma2 sigma2 is located here use dollar sign to fix it as well close this parenthesis as well so now we have calculated this second term plus now the final term y located here use dollar sign only before this 2 minus mu2 mu2 is located here use dollar signs to fix it close this parenthesis whole divided by sigma2 which is located here use dollar signs to fix it as well close this parenthesis and take its square close this parenthesis as well and now you need to close this parenthesis as well so that's it now this excel command will return the value of joint probability density function which is obtained via this formula when random variable big x and big y both are equal to minus 3 press enter so here is the value now simply copy this command downward now i'm going to shift this formula downward because I need space here and now I am going to copy this command in all these remaining cells so for this select this whole column and simply drag it rightward so now this explains why it is important to use the dollar signs at appropriate places the appropriate chart type for this data is the surface plot where the values of random variable big X will be taken along x axis and the values of random variable big y will be taken along y axis and the middle values the values of joint probability density function obtained at different combinations of values of x and y will be taken along the z axis in order to make the surface plot in excel in its correct form we need this cell as blank cell delete it and now select this full data go to the insert tab click on recommended charts click on this select surface and here is the bell shape curve click on ok button increase the size of this chart so here is the graph of bivariate normal distribution
we have variable x here ranging between minus 3 and plus 3 and the variable y here ranging between minus 3 and plus 3 as well and here is the z variable. So this is the graph of bivariate normal distribution when x is standard normal random variable, y is also standard normal random variable and there is zero correlation between random variable x and y. So it means x and y are independent. Now in case x and y are dependent and the correlation between x and y is say 40%. Change this row from 0 to 0 0.4 for 40%. Press enter. So here is the shape of bivariate normal distribution where x is standard normal random variable, y is also standard normal random variable and the correlation between random variables x and y is 40%. You can also experiment by using different values for the mu1 and mu2 and sigma1 and sigma2 and you can see the impact of change in those values on the shape of bivariate normal distribution. Let's change this row from 0 0.4 to 0 again. This is again the shape of bivariate normal distribution where both x and y are standard normal and they are independent because rho is 0. Now let's change this mu1 from 0 to 1 and see what happens to the shape of bivariate normal distribution. Place here 0 by 1, press enter. Now you can see that the peak of this bivariate normal distribution got shifted to x is equal to 1 and y is still at 0. So the peak is occurring now at coordinate x1 and y0. And now if you change this mu2 to 1 as well, press enter. So now you can see that the peak got shifted when x is equal to 1 and y is also equal to 1. Let's change this mu1 from 1 to minus 1. Minus 1, press enter. Now you can see that the peak of this bivariate normal distribution got shifted to x is equal to minus 1 and y is equal to plus 1. Let's change this mu1 back to 0 and change this mu2 back to 0 as well. So this is the bivariate normal distribution for the standard normal random variables x and y with no correlation. Now let's increase this sigma1 from 1 to 1.5. Press enter. So now you can see that the spread got increased. Similarly, you can change this sigma2 from 1 to any other value to see its impact on the shape of bivariate normal distribution. So this is how you can draw the bivariate normal distribution using MS Excel.